Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe metallic bonding. You should then be able to describe and explain the properties of pure metals and alloys. Now, metals are very important in chemistry. I'm showing you here a gold bar, which is essentially pure gold, and a guitar string, which is an alloy. We'll be looking at what's meant by an alloy later in this video. So let's start by taking a closer look at metals. In previous videos, we've seen that atoms become stable by achieving a full outer energy level. When a metal atom reacts with a non-metal atom, we see ionic bonding. And when two non-metal atoms react, we see covalent bonding. So let's look at bonding in metals. Metals consist of a giant structure of atoms arranged in regular layers. And I'm showing you that here. In a metal, the electrons in the outer energy level of each atom are delocalized. So let's take a look at what that means. I'm showing you here atoms of the metal lithium. Lithium atoms have three protons in their nucleus and three electrons in their energy levels. Now, the key fact is that in metals, the outer electrons are not attached to any individual atom. In fact, the outer electrons are free to move through the whole structure. Scientists call these delocalized electrons, and I'm showing you these here. Now, we can call this a sea of delocalized electrons, and it's often shown like this. Because each metal atom has lost its outer electron, we now refer to them as positive metal ions. But remember that this is not ionic bonding, this is metallic bonding. Now, between the sea of delocalized negative electrons and the positive metal ions, we have a strong electrostatic attraction. An electrostatic attraction is an attraction between a positive object and a negative object. The electrostatic attraction in metals is called a metallic bond, and metallic bonds are strong. Now, metals have high melting and boiling points. In order to melt a metal, we have to break the strong metallic bonds. This requires a great deal of energy, and this explains why metals have high melting and boiling points. Metals are also excellent conductors of heat and electricity. That's because the delocalized electrons can move. Because electrons are charged, these moving electrons can carry an electric current. Also, the moving electrons can carry thermal energy, which allows metals to conduct heat. Now, another property of metals is that metals can be bent and shaped. That's because in metals, the layers of atoms can slide over each other like this. Now, this presents a problem. Some pure metals are not hard enough to be useful. This includes copper, gold, iron, and aluminium. So we need to make these metals harder, and to do that, we make an alloy. An alloy is a mixture of metals. In an alloy, the different sizes of atoms distorts the layers. This makes it more difficult for the layers to slide over each other, and this means that alloys are harder than pure metals. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my Vision Workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.